Depending on the circumstances, an air rifle might be exactly what you need. You can buy this Gamo Silent Cat at Amazon for 150 bucks. So go ahead and put one in the cart and pull the trigger. The Gamo Silent Cat is uh, pretty well featured for a gun that only costs 150 bucks. It comes with a scope that is a 4x32, means it's uh, four times magnification with a 32 millimeter objective. It's not adjustable as far as the magnification, but of course you can set it for windage and elevation. It has standard adjustments here, one quarter inch per click at 100 yards, although I wouldn't recommend shooting it out at 100 yards. I think the maximum effective range of this gun is about 40 yards. The cameraman is uh, a really good shot. When he was five, I got him a 22 and uh, threw a stick out in the pond and just jokingly told him to shoot it. So he took a shot and hit it. And uh, I thought it was a fluke, so I said, okay, do it again. So he took aim and hit it again. He's been shooting ever since and he's pretty good. We'll see him test fire this thing in just a minute just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like and how accurate it is. The gun is accurate out to 30 or 40 yards especially if you shoot the Gamo Tomahawk ammunition. It's a pointed 4.5 millimeter or 177 caliber lead pellet weighs 7.8 grains and it's very consistent One thing I like about the gun is the skeletonized stock. Let's you put your thumb through it and you get an AR like grip. It's very light so it's easy to aim. You can hold it in awkward positions and still hold it pretty steady because you're not straining to hold it. Even with this long barrel and the weight out at the front, it's really not bad. Okay, this is something for, you know, hitting rabbits and birds in the yard squirrels, that kind of thing. The cameraman shoots uh, rabbits in the head out to 20 and 30 yards consistently. And uh, even birds shoot them through the head or the neck. One of the benefits of shooting something so quiet is that if you miss the rabbit, the shot is not very loud and it doesn't alarm him. And so you can easily get off a second shot. You know, you have to load each one at a time. So it's pretty slow. gives you time to get a second shot. But the sound of the gun when you shoot it is kind of clunky. Ding. It just sounds a little cheap. Okay, but it does the job. The trigger and safety are, I like the design. You know, the way that it actually pull off, the mechanics of it is about what you'd expect for $150. But the design is pretty cool because the safety is forward to fire and back for safe which is intuitive because you kind of have to push it out of your way to get your finger on the trigger. A fluted barrel shaves off some of the weight at the front. The whole plastic stock is good. It's hard stuff. It doesn't sound too, you know, doesn't sound too plasticky. It's like sturdy, heavy, thick enough. It's made in Spain. The scope is made in China. It's got a padded butt stock, but considering there's no recoil, it's kind of irrelevant. It does give you some grip, the rubber. It gives you some grip on your clothing. It's completely ambidextrous. You can easily get a cheek weld 
whether you're shooting right-handed or left-handed, the same thing on either side. Same with the safety. It shoots PBA pellets at 1,250 feet per second, which is supersonic. And that means that the suppressor is only going to suppress the sound of the blast, you know, the blast of air coming out, propelling the bullet. Um, but you're still going to get a supersonic crack. Speed of sound at sea level is of 1116 feet per second. So when you shoot a lead pellet and it comes out at 1000, it's going to come out subsonic and that sound suppressor is really going to do its job. I think this represents a very good value in air rifles. It's uh, pretty accurate. It's going to do a lot better than your old BB gun and it's actually going to put some food on the table if you need it to. Plus it's fun. It's great for practice. You can train on shooting technique with a gun like this and not have to expend a lot of expensive ammunition. Go to the blog, survivalnewsonline.com, and I'll have a write-up about this gun and some links to where you can get more information about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the blog.